We're back now with a potential medical breakthrough giving new hope to people with blindness. A study just out on an experimental surgery to restore vision to one damaged eye with stem cells from the other. Kristen Dahlgren explains. Straight in 25, clear the land. Nick Carufe always dreamed of being a pilot. I figured that would be a perfect career path for me. And he was well on his way until a freak accident on July 4th, 2020, near his home in California. We were watching the fireworks. Instead of shooting up in the air, it exploded on the floor. I unfortunately took a direct hit to my left eye, dead center. The eye blinded. Thought my life was done. I didn't really know if it was going to ever get better. Until he heard about a completely new procedure being done at Mass Eye and Ear. It looks very good. Dr. Ula Yerkunis and her team pioneered a procedure they call CALIC, using stem cells to restore the cornea in the damaged eye of patients with severe injuries. It is possible to take a small biopsy of these stem cells, grow them in the laboratory, and then transplant them onto the patient's eye, the, uh, taking it from healthy eye to the diseased eye. In a phase one study of the first four patients, all saw marked improvement. Two saw significantly better without additional treatment, and the other two were able to go on to get artificial corneas. Look a little bit up and down. Nick moved to Boston and is now one of a new group of patients receiving the surgery. At what point did you realize it had worked? Not too long after the first surgery, I was able to see. It was this whole thing and I was crying. While still in its early stages, doctors consider this a stepping stone and say stem cell therapies may someday go beyond corneal injuries to things like glaucoma, maybe even other parts of the body. Nick is now flying again for fun. Especially to see even just the blue sky out of the left side is so crazy because I never thought I would ever see that ever again. For the first time in a long time, seeing hope. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Boston. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.